Hey guys, what is up? It is Ivy Chappie Chatwalk. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I love all things thrift, vintage, new, nearly new, estate sailing, sailing, you name it. I love it. To my channel, welcome back to a new video this Sunday. Those of you who are new to subscribe, thank you so much for coming along together on this journey. So you guys, as you can see from the title, I tried, I tried, I tried to wait to do this review of this Neg Hetty tote. There are some things that I need to tell you about this and I am not waiting until six months in in order to do this. I am also going to be doing a simultaneous switch out of what I am currently carrying my and you saw from a previous video and i will either link it here or here so you can watch it in case you miss a chloe edith and, and we are switching into nag Hetty large saint bart's tote in the color olive let, let me just get going so first things first transferring from the chloe edith into my neck Hetty saint bart's will be my Gucci sunglass case. In she goes, my little Bambi coin purse, some lotion, my color store sunglasses that I am absolutely obsessed with. Next up will be just this little spiky guy. You've seen him before. This leather orange zippy little case. I picked this up when I was thrifting. Moving on, my Chanel wallet is gonna go in here. A pen some cocoa butter lotion, my fur coin purse, a lighter, a bunny lipstick, Batman, this perfume that I picked up from Zara, which is all of that, has hints of undertone of vanilla going in the bag, my Ambrient Cli Vuitton, Vaseline champagne flavored, uh, yeah, you get it. Another small thing of Vaseline, a pen for my bank. And one more pen from Saks Fifth Avenue, some mini handcuffs, the Bible, some gum. And then the last thing is this zippy pouch that came along with the St. Bart's Extra Large Tote. Okay, so you guys, for now, I'm just gonna leave it as said with just the things that I transferred in. I have a few more things I wanna put into this, but I wanna get into the review. For those of you who have not seen the initial sharing of this bag, I will link the video here and here so you can go back and take a look at it. You can make up your mind one way or the other from that video and this one, whether you'd like to get this bag or not. Here we go, out the gate. I have been carrying this Nagnetti tote intermittently mixed in with some other things I have put in rotation that I decided that I wanted to carry just in order to get a feel for the bag itself and then also to come out of it to see how much I would reach for it. I have reached for this bag so much. It is almost a tie between this bag and my Kurt Geiger XXL Kensington. I think in terms of reachability, I go for this one a lot more because let me tell you something about this bag. This bag is a very forgiving about what you put in it, where you sit it down, how you choose you wanna carry it, whether you wanna carry it in your hand or if you wanna carry it up on your arm. These handles are the most flexible handles that I've ever, encountered on a bag. Normally bags that have handles like this begin to sag and they begin to give out over time. Oh no, no, not with this bag. It's made out of neoprene, which is a scuba material. And thank you to the person who commented in my other video about when I was describing. I wasn't sure if this was a scuba material and I had said, you know, it's neoprene. And they said, yes, that's essentially what it is. It's, it's scuba material. If you are on the fence about this bag or any of the bags in the St. Bart's line, whether it be the medium or the small, don't be on the fence about this bag. I will also go one step further and say, inside of this bag, I have had pens, I have had makeup, I have had shoes, I have had books, you name it. Not one thing has punctured or 
cause some type of a gash in this bag. Now, sometimes if I do carry a comb, like a comb just to comb through my hair, uh, a skinny rat tail, sometimes that will poke through the neoprene, it'll just find its way, but that's rare because normally I will put it inside of this zippy pouch and I don't have that problem. If the bag is fully loaded, you will get some stretching at the seams. Not anything ridiculous, not anything that would cause you to be like, oh my God, it's gonna put a hole through the bag. No, but I mean, it's, it's, it's stress. This is a relaxed bag. The more you put in it, the more it's gonna give. As far as the zippy pouch, my only complaint about it is on the zipper seam, and I know this, look, first world problem, on this zip part here, you can see, I'm gonna bring it closer. The piping has started to lift up. From use, the pulling and back and forth and in and out with this has caused this to wear. This is only on one side. The other side is fine. To me, that's not a deal breaker. It's just been highly used, highly favored. Because of the zipping back and forth, there has been some discoloration and I'll show you so you can see it. And this D-ring part that connects toggle to the zipper, the underneath has basically turned like a copper color. The exterior coating has basically worn off. And I mean, I think that's with any bag that you would get, you would get discoloration on high use components. But other than that, it has held up extremely, extremely well. The underneath of the bag, I wanna show you because I have taken this all over the place, sat this thing on places, never on the ground. We don't sit our bags on the ground. From car seats to chairs to you name it, it has had its share of movement different places and being sat different places. It has been no transfer, it has been no issue whatsoever. If you are in a pinch, and I had this happen to me, I was in the supermarket and picked up a couple of things and realized I did not have a bag to put my goods in. I'm not paying five cents for a bag. I don't know about you, but I'm not. So if it's a couple of things, a couple of items, and I can throw it right into this bag, it goes right in the bag. Whatever you throw at it, it just looks great in the process. The gazillion and one compliments that I have received on this bag. It is so simplistic. Most people want to know what it is. They just like the aesthetic and the look. And this has come from men and this has come from women who are like, what is this? What kind of bag is this? What kind of bag is this? Listen, if you want to spend your money on something that is going to give you your money back, return on investment, this would be the bag that you would want to do it with. One thing that I have decided, I would like another St. Bart's in the large size, the color black. Black because it is a easy color to work about your wardrobe. Not to say that this color isn't, but as far as ease of use and not having to think about anything in terms of an outfit, I think that the black would be an awesome addition. And last thing I'm gonna tell you about this bag is, on top of this bag being able to take any and everything that you could throw at it, it is also very comfortable when it is full. The straps, when you put them up on your shoulder, and I'm gonna finish putting the remainder of things in here, this is my Agenda MF book that I'm currently reading in here, The 48 Laws of Power, bathroom spray, my phone, and lastly, a pair of flip-flops because we are headed out to get our toes done, honey. I'm gonna stand up because I want you guys to see this bag is forgiving and you get a beautiful silhouette. You see how full this bag is. I'm gonna open it so that you can see everything that I have in here, if I can do this. The shoes, the book, the agenda, everything. And you see how the handles give, and then when you relax it, they just go right back to where they were. Right back, no issues, no nothing. When you put it up on your shoulder, you can see how this looks. It's just an easy bag to negotiate with. And on that note, if you are looking for the perfect bag to do every and anything you need it to do, work, school, the gym, you name it, 
this is the way to do it. So you guys, there you have it. That is my almost six month review of the Naghetti St. Bart's Neoprene Large Tote. I'm going to leave the links of all the places that you can go and shop it if you're looking for it. Bloomingdale stays sold out of this bag, so you may want to kind of cover all your bases to see if you can't find what it is that you're looking for at one of the other sites, including Naghetti, that offers this gorgeous bag. Let me know in the comments below if you have one. What are your thoughts? How do you feel about it? Is it working for you? Is it not working for you? I love my St. Bart's tote. I absolutely love the bag. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday. If you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be listed in the description box below. You can also check out my closet on Poshmark. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there that you like, feel free to message me there or you can head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM me there as well if there's anything in my closet you are interested in. Thank you so much for stopping by so that we could chat and have a good time this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.